Hey everyone, Dan here. Welcome back to the anniversary special videos. Today we're gonna we're going back in time. That's right. We're going back in time. Specifically to the year 1 BC. Before COVID, that stands for. 2019, if you haven't worked it out. Yeah. We're going back to 2019 to revisit a video from that year. This being the Doctor Who One Minute Episode Challenge. Something along those lines. Basically, this video I did in like again in 2019, and it was a sort of tag video from the YouTube channel. Doctor Who Adventures, who unfortunately no longer make videos, they stopped doing them I think New Year this year, which is a shame because they were genuinely one of my favourite Doctor Who channels out there, their sort of very fun, positive outlook on it, and it was, they were all very, you know, entertaining, informative, and it was just, they were a great channel, they were, and they were, they were genuinely amazing. They always did really fun things like this challenge, where it's sort of, you're given a, a random wheel, you've got like a, a villain wheel with loads of different monsters on, and a settings wheel, so you have like different settings or time periods, and you spin them, you get a random setting, so you can get like the Great Depression, and you get a random monster, say the Ice Warriors, and you, you off the cuff in one minute, need to come up with a, like a story outline with those two elements, and yeah, it, it, it's a, it was a really fun challenge, I think the last time I did it I got um, the Pating in a school, which is such a random, again, it's such a random assortment of elements, but it, it made for quite a fun video. And the thing is, since I did that one, because the original one was 2019, as I say, I think a couple of years later they did an updated version, which I remember I didn't do because I wanted to kind of save it for something like this, but um, I think it's because like, they'd seen more classic here and they added the classic stuff, like classic monsters and whatnot, so I think that's what it is, but yeah, let's uh, let's have a look at the updated one. Okay, so we're starting off with the villains um, wheel. Uh, this has got a... Uh... Yeah, more classic villains, so let's uh, spin it. Let's see who we get. We are going to get the... the Oh, the Crathaeus, the, the Vince and the Doctor, like chicken thing. And now let's have a look at the setting. We are going to get... The setting is a bit smaller choice, but we are going to get... A library. Oh, okay. A library. Hmm. That's a really interesting combination, the Crefeus in a library. Because, I mean, as you know, like, Vincent the Doctor is, for me, one of the best Doctor Who stories out of the um, best of the Moffat era, definitely. But, but the Crefeus is not the highlight of that story. That's not the thing that you think of when you think Vincent and the Doctor. But the sort of allegories of, sort of, you know, you can't see it. Um... You know, kind of allegory for like uh, Vincent's mental health. That's kind of that's kind of what's there for. So it's like, how do you develop that? I don't know. That's a really, oh man, that's a really, oh that that that's interesting. Right, let's give it a go. So I'm gonna set this in a futuristic kind of library, so like a space library. Think the series four library two part. Um, and the Crefeus is sort of like a, um, a tragic character. He's very much lost and alone and doesn't really know what to do and how kind of the culture operates, so, um, you know, the Crefeus is sort of going about just completely lost and doesn't know anything about this sort of society where this library is and, you know, isn't, isn't aware that, you know, you have to like be quiet in the library and then everyone keeps like berating it and then it ends up sort of like sending it on sort of like a rampage because like everyone keeps berating at it and it just, everyone treats it like an evil monster when it's not and then that sort of makes it sort of go all wild and then the Doctor I guess has to come in and um, maybe maybe the doctor could maybe stick up for it. Um, I, I don't know actually. That oh maybe the doctor. How do you get like the kind of invisible thing? Maybe maybe some people can't see it. Maybe I don't know. Uh, I, uh, oh that's a oh no oh no. That's quite difficult when you get down to it. So my idea for this story, my outline for this story, is essentially, as I said, it's set in a futuristic library, so it's sort of on an alien, an alien planet, an alien civilization, and the Crefeus is, is sort of a really odd comparison, but think Megamind when, you know, little baby Megamind is flown away from its planet all on its own, it lands on Earth. Think that, but with the Crefeus, it's lost, it's alone, it doesn't understand this society, and therefore, you know, like, it doesn't understand sort of the, the social norm, an expectation that you're quite in a library. So for for an audience, it kind of conveys the sort of alienness um, effectively and make in in a way that we could understand. And so it's sort of constantly made fun of a no not made fun of but yeah constantly um, pushed away from society. Like it's treated as like an an other. It's a villain. It's a monster. And and also with, to link in the whole the invisible monster thing. 
um, the Doctor could be the only one that maybe sees it properly for what it actually is. Um, as like just the because you know because the Doctor has that kind of connection with also being on its own on their own you know with, with the whole last of time Lords time war thing. I think that could be maybe good and maybe maybe people 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 who don't see it kind of represents like ignorance or maybe people see it but it's sort of a more mon- a more monstrous version of it and people treat it you know discriminate in that way. I, I don't know. Um, the the face is a very difficult one because it is Vincent the Doctor where it comes from. It's more of a thinking piece. It's it's not about the monster really. So it's it's a difficult one. But I think it could make for an interesting think piece to link into these ideas of. Yeah, I think I think there's I think there's potential. So yeah, that was quite an interesting one. As I say, the, the, the Crafes is a hard one because it is more of a you know Vince the Doctor is more of a thinking character piece, isn't it? It's not it's not as like it's not as focused on like the action spectacle really, and the, that's not what the Crafes is really about either. So it, it was a difficult one, but you know I, I enjoyed the challenge. Uh, so what, what do you you know what do you think of that idea? How would you maybe expand on it? Because I think that, that part of their tag was that you know you you finish their story. Um, but yeah, if what you think of that, and if you want to do this tag, um, if you want to carry it on, keep the keep the flame lit, then by all means go ahead. You know, like yeah, just have, just have fun with it. You know. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's the video. Uh, that's the end of the video. I um, hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And it's Clank of the Geek signing out. Goodbye, everyone.